Played by writer-director Kevin Smith and his childhood best friend Jason Mewes, Jay and Silent Bob have been cult favorites for over two decades, appearing in movies, TV shows, cartoons, and comic books, with no signs of stopping. But what's the real story behind their popularity? Here's a look at the untold truth of Jay and Silent Bob. Jay is Jay Smith based the loud, obnoxious, and aggressive character of Jay on none other than Jason Mewes himself. Muse told The Skinny, When we did Clerks, I was 18, 19. That's how I used to act, exactly. I didn't have any filter. I used to say stuff exactly like that. Like, what up this and what up that. That's stuff I'd said over the years that Kevin had written down. Smoking weed, smoking weed, doing coke, drinking beers. Drinking beers, beers, beers. Rolling fatty, smoking blunts. Who smokes the blunts? Who smoke the blunts? Disaster Movie Smith famously self-financed Clerks, which had a paltry $27,000 budget. By selling off his extensive collection of comic books, pilfering from his college fund, and then maxing out a bunch of credit cards. And a natural disaster also helped. Smith explains in Stephen Lowenstein's 2002 interview collection, My First Movie, that the rest of the budget came from an insurance settlement for a destroyed car he and Muse shared. Muse warned Smith that the area was going to flood, and that they should move the car. Smith said he didn't want to. Good thing they didn't. Thank you for smoking. A standout scene in Clerks featured an anti-smoking tirade delivered by a guy who turns out to have a self-interest in the matter, a representative of Chulies, a fictional gum manufacturer. It's that kind of mentality that allows the cancer-producing industry to thrive. Of course we're all gonna die someday, but do we have to pay for it? Ironically, Smith himself was a non-smoker until he filmed Clerks. Puffing on screen as Silent Bob was enough to get him hooked, and he eventually became a two-pack-a-day smoker. Luckily, he figured out a way to quit. Let me see, I've been quit smoking now uh, off cigarettes for three years, and it was very easy. I quit smoking, but I just simply started smoking weed instead. Jay vs. Scott Evil Smith made Clerks himself, so he was free to cast anybody he wanted. But because Gramercy Pictures bankrolled the quasi-sequel Mallrats, Smith had to deal with some corporate influence. Studio executives were opposed to letting Muse play Jay again, and instead wanted the more experienced and bankable Seth Green to step into the role. Smith convinced studio executives that Muse was right for the role that he originated, but the studio still kept Green on call for the duration of the shoot as an understudy should things not work out for Muse. To add insult to injury, the studio also refused to pay for Muse to travel to the set in Minnesota, or for his hotel room during the shoot. Studio executives even showed up to the first day of filming, fully prepared to fire Muse if they didn't think he was good enough. Smith made Muse aware of the situation, prompting him to give as good a performance as he could. And the suits finally approved. Oh, son of Jarrell! Kneel before Sod! Snoochie boochies! <laughs> Dogmatic after Gramercy's reluctance to cast Muse, he showed up on the set of Smith's next movie extra prepared. He memorized all his lines before shooting on Dogma began, along with everybody else's. He'd memorized the entire script. This was because Smith met with Muse before rehearsals and told him that he needed to do his best work, because not only was Dogma the biggest production they'd ever embarked on, but they had real actors in the movie this time, namely the legendary Alan Rickman. Muse showed up and gave his performance everything he had because, as he puts it, he didn't want to piss off that Rickman dude. Bow down, stupid! Life imitating art. Despite memorizing the entire script for Dogma, Muse still had trouble filming the movie because he was deeply addicted to heroin at the time of shooting. In a series of blog posts, Smith detailed the times during the shoot when Muse was especially far gone, because it's visible in the film. In the scene where the Apostle Rufus is delivering his backstory outside the movies, for example, Jay struggles to keep himself from nodding off, a telltale sign of a heroin high. Smith worked tirelessly for years to try and help his friend kick the habit. After several failed attempts, Attempts, Smith invited Muse to live with him and his family, but Muse returned the favor by stealing Smith's bank card and using the money to buy heroin. Smith didn't give up though, checking Muse into rehab time and again. He has reportedly been drug-free since 2010 and is now happily married with a child. Clerks the Animated Series 
In 2000, Disney owned ABC, commissioned an animated series based on Clerks. While the film's dialogue and plot points are downright filthy, that kind of thing just wasn't going to fly on primetime network television. As a result, the family-friendly network required some alterations from the source material. Among them, Jay and Silent Bob are not drug dealers on Clerks, the animated series. Rather, they're just kind of pranksters who hang outside the quick stop, and occasionally sell fireworks to kids. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Silent Bob. And I'm Charles Barkley. What the hell are you doing here? Only two episodes aired before ABC cancelled it. Scream! Over the years, Jay and Silent Bob have made a number of guest appearances in television and film, including on Degrassi, The Next Generation, and in the 2000 film Scream 3. Miramax studio head Bob Weinstein called Smith and told him he had an idea for a Jay and Silent Bob cameo in the movie. Smith came up with some lines for the scene on the spot, while Muse was down because he liked the $300 per diem and free t-shirt. He told Smith, We should do this all the time. We can pop up in every horror movie and get 300 bucks a day and a shirt. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.